Hey, this is Mike. Check out this 2015 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara. Now this one is in Anvil. The color is called Anvil. And uh, I think this is the first Sahara actually that I've seen in Anvil. So it looks pretty neat. Hopefully we'll be able to pick up the color. Yeah, they look better in the sun over here on this side. Has the matching hard top, matching fenders, matching grill, has the aluminum wheels, side steps. One of the features this car, this uh, Jeep has, is the remote start. Now, it doesn't have much gas in it, it's real low. We just got it in, I hadn't had a chance to take it to the gas station. But let me just show you what it does when you don't have much gas. It'll just kind of beep at you. Now I did do the remote start earlier, it is the first time it'll start up, and it'll start up just for a few seconds and turn right back off. So basically, it's time to put some gas in there if you, if you experience that. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the doors, or unlock them anyway. Let's start back here. See you got your, um, really like the way these wheels are designed and since this is the spare tire it's easier to see it. You've got like a, like a shiny portion here and then the rest is kind of a, a duller or matte finish, uh, aluminum look. And then you've got the little Jeep, old timey Jeeps picture there. Pretty neat. Now, since this is a hard top, it's real easy to access the back. Just open up the tailgate and open up that, and you got that whole that space to get to access. Now, you want to make sure that when you swing that door open, you've got enough room because it does stick out pretty far. Now, here's the inside of the back. Now, this one has the um, premium alpine sound system and the subwoofer is in the floor on the 15s in the back the real strong grate to cover up the speaker uh, and then it says it's um, tested for all weather conditions so we'll see how that goes I mean I'm sure it is probably true but if you have the top down and then it gets rained on and there's like a puddle of water in there I don't know maybe it's just completely sealed up I don't know we'll find out <laughs> I'm sure they wouldn't say that if it wasn't true. Now you've got the reversible mat right here. It's a rubber on one side with a diamond plate and then you got cloth on the other. And you, previously you would have a little storage compartment here but since this one has a subwoofer here, uh, that storage compartment is taken up. You do have little pockets there, um, but this thing's getting in the way. See, if there was a for storage compartment you'd have a place for that stuff but anyways you can always find out there's other storage in the vehicle so because in the 14s you'd have the subwoofer on the side here and then your storage compartment there so maybe this sounds better I don't know um, you got a power supply over here you got the roll cage now the road roll cage looks pretty cool when you got the top down top off and you're driving around I see a lot of people do that and it makes the vehicle look really cool now in this bag is a bag that holds the two t-top parts and the front of the hard top and you can just put them in that bag strap it to the back of this rear seat and you're good to go and then if it starts raining or if you need to park the vehicle somewhere and you want to secure it, you can put the tops back on. And what do you think about that color, the anvil color? I don't know if you've seen it, if you've seen one in person or what do you think of this and let me know what you think about that. I think it's pretty cool. It's kind of a unique color. Here's the inside of the back. Now it does have the privacy glass on the hard top. In the back here. Now you can tint the front glass to match the back and look really cool. Black leather seats in the Sahara. These seats do fold down like so. And then that way you've got a like a surface to, for cargo area. 
cup holders are here your window controls are here your power window controls and what I would definitely recommend this one doesn't have it this one does have some floor mats in it but they do have some slush mats that goes in these vehicles that look really good and they're really they look good and they're real useful especially if you're gonna use this in off-road conditions you'll probably ruin the carpet or the mats fairly fast if you kinda you know get in and out with mud and stuff but the slush mats hold a lot of mud and dirt and water and everything side mirrors are heated here's the inside of the driver's door you've got your net pocket here door lock controls Manual adjustments on the seats. That's all that the that you can get in the Wrangler so far. No power adjustments. Now this vehicle is uh, trail rated, so it'll go up to 30 inches of water. So I guess if you're driving around with water and there's water getting in there, I guess it'll mess, mess up a power seat. So that's why they don't do it. There's the Sahara embroidered in the back of the leather. Go ahead and hop in. Now, here's the key. I'm going to go ahead and put it in and start it up and see how much gas we got in here. Not much. That's what I thought. Not much at all. But anyways, um, steering wheel, leather wrapped, very comfortable, has a good thickness to it cruise controls on that side, volume button on the back of the steering wheel, tune through the stations on the back of the steering wheel on this side, you've got Bluetooth, voice recognition here, and a, um, you know, full, your menu system that corresponds to this right here. So this little W, that means I'm facing west, outside temperature 71 degrees, which it feels a little bit warmer than that, but just could be me. Push the menu button, and uh, gives me some options. I can go into a digital speedometer. I can keep pushing menu buttons, and it gives me some more gives me more detailed information, like temperature in the tires, and I mean the <laughs> pressure in the tires. Vehicle info is where you find the temperatures. So even that little tiny place at any time you can always push this right here and it'll take you back to the compass but the, that little tiny spot right there it is kind of retro looking but it does give you a lot of information on the vehicle see the rest of the gauges there this is one of the differences that they have um, is the speakers it has an eight speaker system instead of a six speaker system Alpine your um, instead of your speakers being sticking up they're laying down on the dash and then you've got um, your speakers up in in the roll cage as well so over here we've got an auto dim rear view mirror we've got a storage pocket here let me turn the fan down now here's your radio and it has satellite radio you know, this is also your Bluetooth can your uh, Bluetooth um, system as well. Now, it does have a hard drive, and you can add files to the hard drive uh, using this USB port here. And uh, you can also add it by uh, a CD or a DVD ROM disk. You can play music off the hard drive. A disc or an auxiliary uh, which is the, the inputs right there that's the auxiliary input here's your power window controls there's your climate controls it does have an automatic feature you can adjust the temperature and it'll adjust everything for you basically Side mirror adjustments, there's this little joystick here. Heated seats here on the front. There's your controls on to the right and, the, and left there. You have a traction control button here. Downhill descent. Four-way flashers. 
and this is for your uh, AC adapter outlet which is right here you can turn that on with that button won't work unless you turn it on power supply you got the net pocket little pocket down there below I guess for pins or something four drive shifter and then you have the uh, your regular shifter now it does have an auto stick feature you put it in drive you can shift up or down and how you can tell what gear you're in is right here like right now I'll put it in drive I'm gonna go bump it to one two that's as far as it'll go it'll only let you go so far and um, in order to put it back in drive you just hold it to the right puts it back in drive so hold it to the right for a second and then it's drive emergency brake is there got a little tiny pocket down there I guess for a couple quarters or something there's your cup holders center console lockable has two portions one is a little shallow portion has two buttons there the small button is for the top small portion then you've got a, a little sp space for wires to come out in and out and then you have a larger portion here that does have a power supply and a USB I think the USB is only for charging but I'm not really sure I'm pretty sure it's just a charger and then of course you got the little spots here for wires to come in and out so you can run your charger in here and plug it in and have your phone out or whatever you want to do glove compartment also lockable and um, now the reason why the glove compartment and this is both lockable is because um, that way if you, if you have the doors off top down or whatever you, can, you still have some you know the ability to kind of secure your stuff in there got visors with a mirror no light same thing on that side And I was telling you about these, t I call them T-tops because that's what they remind me of. You've got some latches and you have this section is separate from this section. And then th those two are separate from the rear section. So that way you could just take these panels here. So if you can tell. This one comes out, this one comes out, and then that you can store them in that bag back there uh, fairly easy. The, the back portion of the hard top, it takes two people and you kind of have to have a place for it. But um, but it is removable anyways. All right, it looks like I need the hood. All right, Jeep V6, 3.6 liter, Pentastar V6. There's your battery. Now this is color coded. Everything in yellow is stuff that you can check on your own. And I wish they wouldn't put plastic covers over every single engine I see because I like to see some metal when I look at the engine or, or at least the engine itself. But anyways, if you have any questions, my name is Mike. My phone number and email address will be in the description. And if you have anything to add to the video, anything I missed or made a mistake on, just go ahead and leave it in the comments. See you next time.